On Wednesday, we found out that the U.S. big banks' trading desks posted their strongest results in years during the first three months of 2020, even with the coronavirus stressing everyone out. Meanwhile, the U.S. retail sales collapsed as coronavirus kept consumers at home. The French retail sales also plunged 24 percent in March. The Bank of Canada lowered its benchmark overnight interest rate to 0.25 percent to address the economic consequences of the new coronavirus pandemic. Welcome to the Tick Mill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Thursday, we'll be looking at Bank of England's liabilities and credit condition surveys, the U.S. retail initial jobless claims, and China's GDP. Today, I'm looking at the Swiss yen pair, the two safe havens that have been basically rain trading ever since the coronavirus became a thing beginning of 2020. The pair has been ranging between 111 and 113. The Ichimoku cloud has turned in consolidation mode as a result. Currently, the pair is approaching the lower band of the range at 111. So there's a chance that we could see another bullish move up to 113 starting next couple of weeks. Now, do you think the pair will continue to range in the next couple of months? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.